Modern forging processes are responsible for manufacturing everything, from hand tools to automotive and machine parts. The raw material used for forgings are produced and delivered in the form of bar stock, usually in random lengths up to 6 meters or 20 feet. Bar stock may be circular or square with rounded corners. The forge shop then cuts these bars into billets of the required size before forging. Some parts are forged at room temperature. However, most conventional forgings are heated prior to being forged, and therefore require less force and energy in the process. Closed die, or impression die forging, is one of the most common forging processes. In closed die forging, a press forces two halves of a die together to forge a blank in the shape of the die impression. Open die forging utilizes a flat die with no confinement. Ring rolling pierces a round steel billet with a mandrill to form a donut shaped ring. The hot ring is then rolled between a drive roll, an idler roll, and axis rolls to form the desired shape. Powder forging, also known as powder metallurgy, involves the confined forging of metal powders in a die. Rotary forging uses a two-die process to forge a piece continuously. The rotation between the dies eventually deforms the piece until its figure or shape is completed. Radial forging, or swaging, uses a four-hammer machine, helping with the deformation treatment of billets or ingots and alloy steel. And finally, the process of upset forging is accomplished by heating one end of the bar to a required temperature, gripping the non-heated side of the bar as an anvil strikes or upsets the heated side. Once forged, excess material, referred to as flash, can then be trimmed away from the part. Forgings are then cooled and ready for further requirements, such as heat treating or machining.